In 2019, Mercedes remained the dominant mark in F1's endlessly complex turbo hybrid era. But this year also marked a decade since the miracle that was Braun GP, the outfit that became the Silver Arrows earning its own world title double, including the 2009 driver's crown for Jensen Button. Braun grew from the ashes of Honda's works team, formerly BAR, via a management buyout after the giant Japanese auto manufacturer pulled out at the end of 2008 as a result of the global financial crisis. An interim budget and engines from Mercedes getting it to the grid, and Button a last minute drive with low expectations. You work hard for it, but you gotta find yourself in the right place at the right time. You know, you're not gonna, even if you're the best driver in the world and you're much better than everyone else, it doesn't matter. As long as you, if you don't have the equipment, you won't win. But the BGP001 was a world beater, complete with a double diffuser that was F1 2009's must have. Button securing six of the first seven races before a war with Red Bull in the season's second half. Formula One, things move so quickly, and the other teams have got such big resources compared with us. We knew they were going to catch up. I mean, it's going to be difficult for us, and I can see this going down to the last four races, but, uh, you know, I hope we can be up there. However, Button secured the title in Brazil with one round to go. A storming drive from 14th on the grid to 5th. A wobbly mid-season ending with triumph at Interlagos. We were so far off the pace by the end of the season. Um, we didn't have the funding that Mercedes has. You know, we, we spent very little uh, during the year, so we didn't develop the car. So you can't, it's, it's dangerous to stand still in Formula 1 because everyone's improving the whole time. So for us, it was very difficult at the end of the year. It's unlikely F1 will ever see the likes of a Braun title double ever again. But the sport is hoping for more underdog success in the future with its brave new 2021 regulations. And given the excitement of 2009, you've got to hope they succeed. Thanks for watching. To stay up to speed on all things Formula One, make sure you hit the subscribe button.